Welcome back. I'm Bob Kirkpatrick with today's local sports. The Moses Lake Roundup Finals were held Saturday night. The grandstands were packed and fans were on the edge of their seats throughout the competition. The 71st Moses Lake Roundup Finals started out with a combined bareback saddle bronc riding competition Saturday night. Bobby Mote and Seth Shelton tied for first with 81 points in the bareback event. Heath DeMoss and Andy Claris recorded rides of 80 in the saddle bronc competition. Cade Swore lived up to his number seven world ranking with a 7.9 second win in the tied down roping competition. Todd Shoon took his animal to the ground in 3.9 seconds to capture the steer wrestling event. Trick riders entertained the crowd in between events with risky moves and horses jumping through a ring of fire. The team roping event had Jim Cooper and Tyler McKnight partnering up for first place recognition. In the women's barrel racing, it was number nine world ranked rider Cassidy Dennison blowing past the competition with a ride of 17.38 seconds. The specialty act of the night drew oohs and ahs from the crowd as Cody Cavanaugh and company from Neenaw, Wisconsin performed death defying stunts on high flying motorcycles and a quad. The final event of the roundup was the ever popular bull riding competition. The Bulls had the upper hand on the night as most of the riders failed to stay aboard the required eight seconds. But when it was all said and done, it was Lane Bailey edging out Chase Robbins by a point, 84-83, to claim the bragging rights. The senior Babe Ruth World Series wrapped up Thursday with Alabama repeating as champion with a 9-4 win over Klamath Falls. And although the Columbia Basin, Desert Dogs, and River Dogs both bowed out in quarterfinals, each team had players receiving World Series recognition. The Desert Dogs' Isaac Worslin was named batting champion with a 500 average. He, was also, he also made the All-World Series team at first base. Austin Murdoch was named to the All-Defensive team. The River Dogs' Cam Walker was named All-World Series team pitcher. Drew Luetta at third base and Timbo Taylor at the utility positions were named to the all-defensive team. Chandler Gribble received the American Division Sportsmanship Award. And with the series all wrapped up, reporter Sean Wells had a chance to catch up with the River Dogs coach and World Series director Randy Boroff to see how things went. The 2014 Babe Ruth World Series wrapped up with the Alabama Raw Dogs defending their World Series title. World Series director Randy Boroff said the week-long event hosted in Euphreda went about as smooth as he could have hoped. We've had some good crowds and haven't had any real glitches, haven't had any problems with the kids and the housing, and so um, you'd have to rate this as a, as a absolute A as far as the grade is concerned. Next year's World Series will be in Klamath Falls, Oregon, but Randy thinks I'll be back in Ephrata soon. They've let me know that they would love to have us have it in 2017. They, uh, they love having it here, this uh, complex, and uh, you know, they like small town America, and, and the people like coming here. We get, just get great grades and great reviews from all the teams that participate here. Randy is also the manager of the Columbia Basin River Dogs. He was disappointed by his team's early exit, but he thinks the future is bright. For us, uh, we had a great year. We won 46 games, and, uh, and so uh, the nice thing about it is, is that we had two teams here. And so we've got a lot of kids coming back. So we should be pretty, pretty uh, good and pretty effective next year. Fry Fabro One News, Sean Wells. That's it for sports. We'll be right back after this.